Mike Marlon, um, you, you said pre-season you wanted to add a bit more of an aggressive side to your game. Yeah. That's sort of been been followed through with, with five bookings and eight games. So is, is it a balancing act now between adding that to your game and... and yeah, you know, um, obviously a bit of a learning curve. You know, being suspended is the first time I've um, experienced it and I've not really something that I want to you know, experience again, but it's part and parcel of the kind of mentality that we've gone in as a team with this year and the kind of way we've set up and the way a lot of the lads have gone about on a Saturday. So, um, like I said, hopefully it's just maintaining maintaining the aggressiveness and you know, the hungriness and eagerness, but you know, balancing out and being sensible at times. But yeah. you know, I think I was a bit unfair, a bit unlucky to pick up five bookings, but you know, that's the way football goes sometimes. Yeah. I was going to ask about the fifth one because you went up for the challenge yeah. with probably... Aiming to play the ball and just an unfortunate collision. I mean, there was no malice in there, was there? No, yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, the lads had a few stitches, but you know, my eyes were always on the ball, and I kind of tend to use my arms anyway to get some leverage. And you know, it's just one of those things that I've connected with him. But I think the referee's gone on the crowd more than you know what he's seen. Yeah, so you had to sit out Saturday. Um, what I know you want to play every game. What was yeah. it like watching a game like that? Yeah, it was very frustrating. Um, coming into training Saturday then. You know, going off and sitting in the stands watching the boys, and you know, it's just one of itching to be out there. I'm you know, still young, and I, I want to play every game. So, like I said, I just don't want to experience it again. I want to play. Hopefully, now the rest, the whole whole games that are left in the season. Yeah, I know the manager's been pleased with the the extra dimension you've added to your game. Yeah. As, as he said to the squad, he doesn't mind if you pick up bookings because there wasn't, you know, last season perhaps a little bit too soft with winning that fair play award. I know he's not expecting to win that this year. As he said. If you get book bookings, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know, the fair play award it is a good thing for the club, but you know, it didn't really kind of look well as us as a team and something we definitely need to improve on. And you know, I think we've got a bit of bite in there with Russ and you know, Benno as well at the back and it seemed to kind of mix through the whole team. Now we've, we're working harder, I feel. Um, we're chasing teams down and pressing them. And, you know, that's why I think we're creating chances. Yep, Torquay next up, and you played against them in the Johnson's Play yeah. Trophy, didn't you? But probably half the rest of the team was changed for both teams, so expecting yeah. it to be quite different tomorrow night. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always a tough place to go, especially on a Tuesday night and you know, the weather being like this. But um, you know, they always seem to have a good side there, regardless of you know, them lo- losing a few few players and obviously you know their manager. So um, yeah, it's going to be a tough tough game, but nothing that we're scared of going into. Like we just go in the same mentality that we have done through the whole season so far and just hopefully carry on and get three points away. Yeah, forecasts obviously for heavy wind. Um, does that, can you adapt your game at all? Because it's probably the one thing footballers don't like is strong wind. Yeah, I, f- I think as a footballer the, the wind's the worst thing. You know, like if you're training or you're playing, it's, it's not what you want. But um, yeah, you just got to try and adapt to the game and just adapt to the weather and try and, you know, as long as the ball's on the floor, then the wind can't play too much of a factor. Yeah, you sometimes like to spray it across the pitch, get some some lift on it. Do you think yeah. you might have to cut out those ones if it's strong winds because it could be blown all over the place, couldn't it? Yeah, that's it. Um, so you just got to kind of adapt adapt to the wind and adapt to the weather. Hopefully, I've got enough power on my legs to <laughs> make it anyway. Yeah, um, Russ Penn and Luke Summerfield starting for the first time together in a two yeah. on Saturday. How do you think that those from, from sitting in the stand? What you know? Did you notice anything? How do you think they did together? Yeah, I think they done well. We've all, like I said before, we've had a good understanding between the three of us anyway and um, I've played with Luke and I've played with Russ um, to be fair to them it wasn't really the type of game where you know judging from the stands there wasn't a lot of football played but um, like I said Russ, Russ won a penalty through um, hard work and I both thought they you know, put in a good shift and worked well for the, for the team and worked well together Yeah and as it's been said before it was a, a solid workmanlike performance that being spectacular mm. but that's what you need to do on, in games like that to get those sort of results isn't yeah, it? Yeah um, I think last week showed at Aldershot we won our best but we um, like we went away with nothing and you know, Saturday we were strong enough to um, get the three points not playing too well. Yeah. well obviously uh, Russ and Luke together in the midfield you played up until your suspension every minute of every game sort of is it a, a nervous time when you're when you're not in uh, in a game and you're obviously you're sat in the stands. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially if the team plays well and they get a good result, then you, know, you don't know whether the, the manager's going to pick you for the next game. No, I think I think the manager really likes me here, so hopefully I'll be in the be in the team on Tuesday or being back in the squad. 
The manager has just walked in and is not listening. <laughs> and I'm just looking at you know the sort of the style that those two have in midfield. Do you sort of sit there analysing the game and just sort of you know how much do you think when you when you're actually watching the game from the stands? Um, yeah, of course you think because you know you want to be playing and you want to hopefully if you were playing you could do better. But um, yeah, as I said, I think they've both done well and as you said, hopefully I'll be back around the team on Tuesday. And this extra edge to your game this season, I suppose if you're picking up bookings for the tackles, that's fine, but the bookings you want to avoid are anything for dissent, any back chat to the referee, they're the wasted bookings really, aren't they? Yeah, I've, you know, I've not picked up any any bookings for that kind of behaviour, so um, like I said, it's kind of tackling and you know, just that extra bite, which um, you know, hopefully, like I said, I did want to add a bit more to my game and uh, hopefully I have done, but continue it as well.